Hi everyone, so today I finally got to go to the Chocolatier in Hershey Park and this is like a newer restaurant that they have so I've been wanting to go for a while so I finally got to check it out. So this is what it looks like on the inside and then I wanted to show the menu to you guys. There was a lot of different really cool options and a lot of them incorporate chocolate in some way. So this is the full menu if you want to take a look. So I went on a weekday in earlier May, which was nice because the Hershey Park section, the theme park area, wasn't actually open. So you could go to the Chocolatier and then the gift shop that they have, but the park was empty, which made it nice because there weren't a lot of people in the restaurant, so it was easy to get a good seat and also just get to look around at everything. So they do have a really nice full menu and then they also have a lot of different drinks. They have alcoholic beverages as well as mocktails, so there's a bit for everyone. I didn't try any of those this time, but next time I definitely want to try and pick one up. We were seated by the kitchen, which was nice because we got to see everything coming in and out, which you'll see in a second. And towards the top of the kitchen, they had the Ferris wheel sampler, which is a really cool appetizer that gives you a bit of everything. While we were there, they had a Hershey bar come out and say hi to everyone, which was really nice. He came up to all the different tables and even greeted everyone. He sat at our table for a bit, so it was fun and interactive. And this is the food we got. I got the chicken and waffles, and then Mike got the barbecue short rib flatbread, and they were really delicious. And then this is the dessert menu because we wanted to try a dessert. So here's the full menu for you guys to take a look at. For dessert, we got the chocolatier cake, which comes in this melted pool of Hershey chocolate, and it was super delicious. It's really filling, so I recommend splitting it with someone, but I would definitely get this again. And it was in a cast iron, which they actually sell downstairs in the gift shop. This is the outdoor patio section. It was open, but because it wasn't too busy, there weren't many people out here. But it's a really nice section to go out and eat in, and it was perfect weather, so we went out to take a look at it after we finished up. And they have some old ride vehicles that you'll see on display here, which you could take pictures with, which is really cool. And a lot of people are taking some pictures over there. So it's a great spot if you want to get a cool photo up. One of the fun things about going when the theme park was closed is that from the patio, you get a look out at the theme park. So there was no one in it, which I've never really seen before. So it was really fun getting to take a look at that. After we finished up in the outdoor patio, we decided to head downstairs and downstairs they have the Milton's ice cream parlor, but they also have the gift shop. So we took a look down there and got to see more ride vehicles that they had on display and then all the different merchandise that was for sale. If you're looking for a new backpack, we really loved this one. It had a bite taken out of it, which we thought was fun. And it was a bit pricier, it was $90, but it did feel like a good quality backpack. They had a bunch of different merchandise, and I know this isn't the gift shop that was in like the main chocolate world area, but they still had a really good selection to take a look at. They had plush toys and different hoodies and shirts, so you could find anything for anyone, and of course they had chocolate. This was the Milton's Ice Cream Parlor. This is within the same building, so you can go there as well. It didn't look like it was open today, but I will definitely come back during the summer when I go to the park and try out some flavors. Before we head out, we checked out Chocolate Town and we got to take a look at everything here. We haven't been when they added Chocolate Town, so this was our first time getting to see it. So this was really cool. And then this is also the Hershey Park entrance, which was completely empty, so we got to take some really nice pictures there. 
Of course, we had to go and measure ourselves and see which candy we were. So this wall is a way for you to see what size you are and then you'll be able to know what rides you can go on. So we were both Jolly Ranchers, but they have all the different candy bars associated with different heights so you know which rides you can check out. I wanted to take a look at Chocolate World, which is right next to Chocolate Town, and I wanted to see if it was open, but unfortunately it wasn't, so I think right now it's just gonna be on weekends until Hershey Park is fully open for the season, but we did get to see all of the displays they have up. That's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll be sure to film when I go back to the park and actually head in, but thank you so much for watching, and stay tuned for the next video. Bye!